Greetings. My name is Bruce Smith. In this little chat's about what's gotten me through the stay-at-home order for the COVID-19 pandemic, getting me through such as such as I'm getting through. It's been tough, and it's getting increasingly tough. I'm at day 56 of my stay at home. And what I find that's getting me through, to the degree that I am getting through this, are the requirements of life, the, the tasks of daily life. Going to the grocery store once a week, going to the hardware store for some gardening supplies, wearing masks, the N95s, the gloves, you know, stand six feet away, minimal interactions. When I come home, bleaching everything, washing everything down with, you know, scrubbing and washing my hands. And But there was one incident that really stands out of my mind that was surprising and powerful of really changing the stupor, this depression, the fog of quarantine that is so oppressive. And that was doing laundry. Did it like a week or so ago. And I had been nursing the laundry along by washing underwear out in the kitchen sink and t-shirts. And, but I was running, I was out of socks. The sheets hadn't been washed, I was out of jeans. No more shirts. It's time to do laundry. So I called Yelm Laundry Center, which is where I normally go, because they got good machines. They work right. They have an attendant. The place is clean. It's organized. It's a good operation. So I called them up to see if they're still open, and I spoke to the boss. I talked to Dave, and he says, yeah, we're open, but there's a couple rules you gotta you got to uh, do for the COVID. The first thing is, Pre-sort everything. We don't want people coming in and shaking out all their sheets and their towels and things. So you come in, you open up your totes, you put your stuff in the machine, you put your cloins in, you put the soap in, close her up, get her going, and then you leave. We don't want anybody hanging around. Don't bring your kids. Don't come to socialize. Don't bring your friends. Nothing like that. Just do your laundry and dryer. So I said, do you have the folding tables? Yeah, you can use them if you want. Uh, it all depends on the size of the crowd. I said, how are the crowds? He said, they're very light, two or three people most, and they're only in the, mach- in, the in the laundromat for a few minutes as they work on a machine. I said, okay. And so I went over. Now, getting there, I had to take everything off. I was, you know, sorting everything out, stripping the beds of the sheets, gathering up all my towels, going through the place, making sure that I didn't leave anything behind. Loading the car. And I was exhausted. I was like, <sighs> just getting ready to do laundry was a job. I don't know if I have enough energy left to do the laundry now. <sighs> so I made a cup of coffee, made a sandwich, had lunch, felt revived. It's now about four o'clock. And I said, well, maybe I should wait till tomorrow. I said, well, I got everything. I'm feeling okay. Let's go. So I get there. And there's nobody in the laundromat except for the attendant. And she's really glad to see me. So if we start talking as I'm loading the machines and things. And she's telling me how depressed she feels. And how boring it is to work in the laundromat with nobody doing laundry. And at home, her significant other is really struggling too with depression. I said, honey, I'm with you. So I get everything washing. I go back to my car. Read a National Geographic magazine. Look at my watch. It's time to go back in. Put everything into the dryer. And a couple other people come into the laundromat. One of them is a friend of a friend. That I had met before. Didn't remember her name. We started talking, though. We had a wonderful conversation. And the clothes are dry, and I put them on the drying table. And she is a caregiver. And she's telling me about the different kinds of preventive a procedures that she used to keep herself safe from COVID and different kinds of teas and tinctures and herbal remedies and, um, you know, things like that, the, the home care and really uh, things out of the garden that, that 
that they're going to build up your immunity system. This is a woman, very mindful. Uh, it wasn't airy fairy. This is practical. This is stuff that she does, and she feels very successful. And she, she had a mask on. I had my N95 mask on. And with all this drying and folding and things like that, <sighs> working with an N95 mask is tough. I ran, I ran out of gas. This friend of a friend, her name was Carrie, and I felt safe with her. She's standing about four feet away, five feet away. I took my mask off. I took my gloves off. Your hands sweat. I was like, oh, it feels crummy. So I folded my clothes. We had a wonderful conversation. Loaded up the car when I was finished. Said goodbye to Carrie. When I got home, normally I'd be exhausted. But I felt alive. I felt energized. It's funny how making this is the first time I had person face to face contact with anybody. It was really getting into the nitty gritty and I loved it. And the fact that I was physically active really got the endorphins going and the body just elevated and it was sweet. And that's how I got through that day. That's my story.